Now, the UN chief Ban Ki moon is here in Korea to attend this forum. Thousands of world leaders in politics and business have gathered in Korea's southernmost island of Jeju to discuss peace and security and to explore a new order in the Asian region. Our Kwon Soo files us this report from Jeju. Here, against the peaceful backdrop of South Korea's Jeju Island, special guests have arrived from all around the world to put their heads together and talk about promoting peace, prosperity, and more. It's the 11th installment of the Jeju Forum, with the attendance of its biggest ever number of political, business, and academic leaders to accelerate cooperation in East Asia and beyond. As part of that, former Japanese Prime Minister Tomiichi Murayama, well known for his Murayama statement in 1995, in which he apologized for Japan's wartime wrongdoings, spoke about Seoul-Tokyo ties. It's true that Korea-Japan relations had deteriorated since Prime Minister Shinzo Abe took office, but I see sincerity in Japan and Korea's foreign minister's agreement last year. That being the landmark deal on the Japanese military sexual enslavement of Korean women during World War II. But as the agreement has not been accepted by everyone, including many of their surviving victims themselves, Murayama went on to make a suggestion. I think it's a good idea for Prime Minister Abe himself to write a letter of apology to the victims. Cooperation between the three major powers in the region, South Korea, China and Japan, was also stressed by the former prime minister, a key topic at many sessions at the forum. Yang Ho-ran, China's former special envoy for Korean Peninsula Affairs, says while the three have many geographic, cultural, economical advantages to accelerate cooperation, conflicts coexist. A different country has a different ideas, so difference is normal. But how to deal with uh, these differences properly, that is a challenge for, for us, especially the political trust, and how to face history squarely and look into the future. And to underline issues like these, prominent figures will share their vision on Asia's new order and cooperative leadership, the theme of this year's event, on Thursday, including UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, who set his foot on the island, his first stop during his one-week visit to South Korea. Kwon Soo-ah, Arirang News, Jeju.